Begin with the story here where President Muhammadu Buhari today received three young admirers who have shown high interest in his administration and prayed for his recovery during ill health. The president who received the three young children in company of their parents at the presidential villa, Abuja, said his victory in the 2015 presidential election was due to contributions of good-hearted Nigerians such as these ones who showed their support by sending their personal savings. Our correspondent, Nabuchi Oke Nabuchi, has more on this report. Three years old, Maya Jamal became an internet sensation when a videoed prayer for the president's recovery went viral. While 10 years old, Aisha Ali Ugebi penned a personal letter to President Buhari, describing herself as the president's biggest fan. On her own, Nicole Benson, 12 years old, contributed 5,785 naira to the president's campaign in 2015, which was all saved up from a lunch and pocket allowance. Receiving the trial, President Mohamed Buhari said he was impressed by what the children have been able to do. He said he was particularly moved when he watched Maya praying for his recovery in an internet video. I wonder why she, maybe she didn't remember the recording. But it went worldwide, and I saw it there, very pleased to meet her. And for you, uh, I congratulate you, as I congratulate myself for being here. Your contribution has made a great impact, and uh, we won the election, and here I find myself. I'm very pleased to meet you in person. The president attributed his victory at the polls to the contributions of good-hearted Nigerians like young Nicole, who is from Lagos State, and showed her support by sending her personal savings, telling her that her contribution made a great impact. While I'm here and after I left, I will be meeting you from time to time. We are, we are being good friends. Yeah. Thank you very much. Speaking on behalf of the parents, Honorable Aliyu Ibrahim Gebi said the president's gesture of inviting the children to the presidential villa was a dream come true. Well, we pray for you. Indeed, our children pray for you. Uh, Mr. President, the first time you uh, came to rural Nigeria, I was probably in primary school. And alhamdulillah, the same stories that I heard and what I came to witness, having participated in uh, the polity with you in CPC, my children have seen the same thing and they shall pass it on to their children. The president says he looks forward to more visits from the children as he hopes to meet them even after his reign as president. Maya lives in the FCT while Aisha came in from Bauchi State. On our next story, the federal government has dismissed conspiracy theories that it is responsible for the outbreak of the monkeypox virus in the south of the country. Addressing journalists in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, Monday, the health minister, Professor Isaac Adewole, said the claims that the monkeypox virus was being triggered by vaccines was unfounded and should be discarded in the interest of the overall health and well-being of the nation's children. We want to reassure you that the outbreak has nothing to do with vaccination. And we want to appeal to all Nigerians that certainly it is not transmitted by injection. Galaxy's Godfrey Oshemoge reports that the health ministry has, however, confirmed that of the samples from the 21 suspected cases of monkeypox virus who sent to the WHO Regional Laboratory in Dhaka, Senegal, three from Bielsa State have tested positive. The health ministry has therefore charged the Nigerian media to desist from spreading panic owing to the monkeypox outbreak and assures that the disease is not the deadly strain, adding that there have been no confirmed fatalities yet from all the suspected or confirmed cases so far recorded. And now in the bid to tackle the food security in Lagos, the state governor, Kiyomi Ambode, has promised to revive the agricultural sector through policies and programs that will encourage more people to go into famine as well as increase food production. 
The governor stated this during the grand finale of the 2017 World Food Day and Agricultural Value Chains Empowerment held in Lagos with the theme, Change the Future of Migration, Invest in Food Security and Rural Development. Ambode, who was represented by the Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment, Babatunde Durusimieti, said the strategy will reverse the trend of rural urban drift and make farming more attractive, especially to the youths across the state. Gentlemen, this administration is committed to ensuring full self-sufficiency for our teaming population through well-designed and thought-out initiatives, some of which are already making the desired impact. We shall not relent in our efforts to encourage farming activity in our rural communities by reducing the infrastructural gap between our rural and urban centers. Earlier in his opening remark, the Commissioner for Agriculture, Oluwa Toyin Sarao, underscored the need for farmers to collaborate with government in addressing the challenge of food security in the state. Two of the 1,140 beneficiaries of the agricultural inputs and Fadama Productive Access thank the state government for the gesture. The agricultural value chains and Fadama Empowerment programs are initiatives of the state government targeted towards empowering and encouraging people along the agricultural sector. Governor um, Akiomi uh, Aki Akiomi for this presentation, it's a laudable um, thing to be done to fish farmers in Lagos State and we're proud of him and we pray for him and his government. Um, we give glory to God Almighty that has given us today. It is not a our efforts for the assistance of God Almighty and the support of our local government. In the meantime, as Nigeria joins the rest of the world to celebrate this year World Food Day, government at all levels have been advised to remain committed to policies on agricultural development towards ending food insecurity. In his keynote address at the event, the Executive Director, Institute of Agricultural Research and Training in Bada, Professor James Adediro, charged government at all levels as well as stakeholders on the need to use agriculture to curb the effect of rural urban migration, which will help to decongest the urban areas. The government of the day, under the leadership of President Mamadou Guar, and also the governor of your state to see, seems to, they seem to see things from the di this direction with recent effective actions taken to diversify Nigeria economy by boosting agricultural sector. Also in their separate remarks, Provost or your State College of Agriculture and Technology, Professor Gwemiga Dewali, and the Special Advisor to Governor Abiola Jumobi on Agriculture, Professor Shegwa Dekule, stressed the need for youth empowerment if agriculture must play critical roles in the socio-economic development of Nigeria. What we call farm settlement scheme as most is known. There is need to resuscitate some of these our farm settlements and also provide modern day facilities that emphasizes hunger alleviation and sustainable food security through agricultural development where all and sundry, regardless of age, gender, religion, are assured of access to food at all times. Declaring the event open, Governor Biola Jumobi, he was represented by the event by his deputy Moses Adeyemo, contributed the food crisis being witnessed in Nigeria to climate change, Niger Delta insurgency and Biafra uprising, saying these had led to increase in the number of migrants from the affected areas. Of the displaced population are the extreme poor who bring their livelihoods for agriculture or other rural activities. 
In the same vein, farmers in River State have called on government to give more attention to agriculture by assisting farmers with soft loans to boost productivity. Some farmers who spoke with newsmen in Podaka to the state capital said they faced numerous challenges which hinder adequate food production. As a rice farmer, one of the serious challenges we have is clearing cultivation. The land, acquiring the land, it's not a problem with us because we intend to do so many things, get more seedling, get more fertilizer. But our land there is fertile, but the problem is that we don't have input, we don't have the finance individually to go on and have such inputs. The fish are not expensive. Why I say it's not expensive is because with the, 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 it is the materials that we are using. On his part, the secretary to the state government, Kenneth Kobani, who represented the state governor, promised that government will encourage and support young people to be trained and engaged in commercial farming, as well as create an enabling environment for private investors. Meanwhile, State Commissioner for Agriculture, Charles Nwagu, said it is pertinent for all to reflect on the need to take agriculture more seriously so as to produce enough food and ensure its availability for improved standard of living. As a government, we will continue to encourage our people to go into agriculture, to exploit the opportunities involved in agriculture. We will continue also to support ventures and those who seek facilities. The government of uh, uh, Barrister, as a one year so we can, is doing a lot, especially as it concerns the youth.